What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to slay this red look. Don't you want to know how to do it? It looks intimidating, but I promise you it's not. So if you want to see me slay this look, then keep on watching. Before we dive into this video, I just wanted to thank all of my lovelies for your lovely comments showing so much love and appreciation. So if you aren't already subscribed, you can push that button and then also ring that bell so that you're notified every time I drop a new flick, which is every day. Your girl has dedication. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do in this look is I'm going to prime my eyes. Now you can use any type of primer that you want. Um, I just have this one on hand. This is the Color Workshop one, but who cares, right? Because we're still going to slay, girl. We're still going to slay. So going in with, I like to use a flat concealer brush and just from the brow, cover the complete lid. Alright guys, next we're gonna dive into the brightest color of this is the Morphe 35O palette and we're gonna just dive in with the same brush and set this primer. Now I forgot to tell you guys that I like to use padding motions to set my primer and that's just because if you use swiping motions you might in turn make your primer look streaky. So padding motions girl beat that face. Alright guys now we're gonna dip into this baby pink as our transition color and we're gonna be using our Morphe M441 brush. All right, now we're gonna go into the same palette with the same brush, and we're just gonna jump all the way to the other side. Now this is gonna be concentrated more along the outer crease. And girl, this takes some blending. So don't be discouraged, honeys. It's okay if it takes time. Looks like this, take time. If you wanna slay, girl, it takes time. So. Going in with the same Morphe M441 brush. Like, girl, look how much this picks up. Like, Jesus. And like, this palette, this Beauty Glaze palette, the reason I'm not baking right now is because there is zero fall out. Zero. Okay. 
going in. You want to make them crazy faces, girl, so you could really get in that crease. You know what I mean? All right, now that I pretty much have the color laid down where I wanted, I'm gonna take a clean blender brush and just blend that sucker out like crazy. Like there's no tomorrow, girl, like for real. Blend, blend for your life. And I'm only doing, I'm only really blending the outer edge, you know, from where it, it transitions from the transition color to that red color. I'm just going over that line and blending it in and making it look good, girl. We want to look good. We want to look good. All right guys, now I'm gonna be taking a flat packing brush and I'm gonna be going into that same color on the end. This one, Ooh, I'll drop it, this one. And again, I'm just going to pack it on the outer corner and then go back in with my clean blender brush and blend out that edge just a little bit more. Make sure we're blended, girl. Make sure we're blended. All right, girls, now I'm gonna be going back in with my clean blender brush. And I've already done this eye just so that you can see the difference when you don't blend. You see, this one does not have such a harsh line. It kind of goes from pink to red pretty seamlessly. So that's what we're gonna do with this eye. We're only going to blend on that harsh red line just to soften that up.
Does anybody... <laughs> Does anybody else, like, when they're looking at a small mirror like this, does anybody else do this when they're trying to match their eyes? Bro, I do it all the time. Hello! Alright, now we're going to drag this out just a little bit to create the illusion that we have a longer eye. Because, girl, our eyes... All right guys, now just to clean up the inner corner, we're gonna go back in with our primer. Now I wouldn't usually put a primer right here, but because I love the color that this lays on this pretty face, we're gonna cut the crease with this. Yes, we are. Now I'm not doing a full cut crease, I'm just basically just cleaning up where my red came down to my lid. That's it, not really cutting it. Because cutting it takes a lot of time, girl. A lot of time. So we're just going to see how this works. All right. So we're going to pull it to the side a little bit so that I have a flatter surface to work with. So we're just going to clean this up. Bam, girl. All right, now I'm gonna do this other side really quickly off camera, and I will be right back to slay the rest of this face. Girl, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know I could be America's American Idol. Like, I would win that. Like, legit win it, girl. Winning. All right, guys, now that I have cut it, I'm gonna be setting it with the same brush and this super white color. I'm gonna go in with a different brush. All right guys, now to blend the red into the white, we're just gonna go in with whatever product we have left on our brush. And this is the M441. And we're just gonna go over this line and soften it up. For the bottom lid, we're just going to take this color, very little product, and dust it lightly on the lower lash line. Girl, I know I'm in some crazy positions right now. Just trying to get that 
really close to the lash line. There we go, girl, we slaying. All right, we are done with the shadows. Now, let me just quickly fleek my liner and lashes off camera and we will be right back for highlighter cause girl, I'm feeling dead. Yes, I am. All right, guys, undo my favorite part, undo my favorite part. I wanted to let you guys know that I did add just a touch of glitter. And that is the Color Workshop Glitter Powder in the shade Rose. And I just put it on where the white meets the red. And it came out lovely, girl, didn't it? Mm-hmm, I know it did. All right, now going in with a blender brush, you guys already know that, I want to blind them today so no surprise here we're gonna go in with shine and give us some life girl Okay, now for the nose, you know, we got a one, two, that nose, maybe three, four, five, if you know what I mean. Okay, a little bit on the cheek as well. And a little bit on the chin because why the heck not, right? All right, now. We can go in with a lippy. Hold that thought. All right, guys, for lips, she's a new one. Now, I did get a couple of comments that were asking about when I was going to do the Milani lip colors. Well, this is a new one. I'm not going to tell you the shade just yet. You have to wait for that video. So, but since this one looks so lovely with this look, I am gonna give you guys just a little teaser. By the way, it smells so friggin' good. All right guys, this is the finished look. All 
All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today and watching me slay yet but again another Valentine's Day look. I know that Valentine's Day is a couple of days ago, but I am so full of love that Valentine's Day is every day for me. Plus, I am a sucker for a red. So, and if you like what you've seen here today, don't forget before you leave to give me a big thumbs up and comment below and tell me what it is about this look that you dig so much. So, until next time. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.